what's going on guys um, so another video here let this be a tutorial by the way if any of you are actually interested in Android development well I actually got into it and so I thought I could make it into a video so in this video will be learning how to cherry pick features if you don't know what cherry picking means it's simply like if you find some a ROM for example 30 unicorns or slim or anything like that if you've heard of it you're just picking any feature from that ROM to your ROM in this case it will be the same ROM for me that's the Zephyr OS but I'll be working on different branches so right now uh, let's head towards the project so home that's me and so far so that's the thing now I need to add features to my frameworks based repo I'll talk about everything in upcoming videos but for this video we're just going to learn about cherry picking and uh, later on we'll see how to cherry pick from Garrett and stuff like that so once we are in this repo we need to get the remote of the repo from which we want to pick the features remote simply means that you are assigning that particular uh, ROM's repo as your base so as to pick all these features from um, you'll get to know about this clearly in, clearly in a while uh, right now just type in git remote to see what are the remotes you have origin is the original remote of what is there and zero is, is the extra remote that I added so how to add the remote let me first remove the remote by this command git remote rm which means remove zos so this right now removes the remote and then we also need to set a branch in which we are going to be working on right now I'm going to be picking features from the branch zos 6.0.1 but I'm in the branch DUI. So we just type in git branch. So that as you can see, I'm in that branch. Now we add remote like git remote add ZOS. Just name anything you want. In my case, I'm adding it ZOS. You can add it whatever you like. That doesn't really matter. What matters is this URL. Just copy that. And then I'm going to paste it. Oh my god. So we copy that. All right, so it got pasted. Now we don't need those extra part. Just finish it off with base. Just till the repo name and then press enter. Now we do git uh, no git fetch zero. So it fetches all the data from that remote. So as you can see, if we have all the uh, cherry picking stuff ready to be done now let's move on to cherry picking so uh, there are three different variations that you might come across in cherry picking one is when you cherry pick the same feature again so this is the command to cherry pick git cherry pick to cherry pick you just need to enter uh, click on these small thumbnails so let's see okay I want to pick this for instance that's copied and we paste that unique code press enter if you get something like this it means that the this command I mean this commit is already present in your project so we just click grid preset or you can also type in git cherry pick a bot it doesn't really matter now to know about what are the commits you have in your system you just need to type git lock so this shows all the different commits that you have so by this you can compare and pick the commits that you really want we can exit this I'm using a server basically so I'm not uh, dual booting it or am I using virtual machine this is the best way I think is to get into ROM development okay let me clear the screen alright let's start cherry picking some features alright so this was the first variation that I showed now uh, let me pick this one which I haven't picked so far 
So you just copy that, paste the unique code, and there you go. If you get a message like this, it means that the cherry picking was successful. At times you might face conflicts which you have to learn on how to deal with them. So let's pick another commit. So this was a success again. Like that you just have to copy that and paste and keep moving with cherry picking. It's just uh, as easy as that. The difficult part is when you have to uh, you know deal with conflicts. So, so far I haven't faced any conflicts, but even if you face any conflict, um, a simple step, uh, it will show you where in which file the com uh, conflicts are, just in case you just type git status. In my case, I have no conflicts, right? So, um, it shows nothing, but in your case, you might find um, text with green and red color. We'll come to solving conflicts in another video. So for now this was it and this is how you cherry pick from different projects to your own project. So thanks for watching and if you have any queries do let me know in the comments below. I will be there for you anytime. Not during the time when I sleep though. So see you later. Bye bye.